Hi YouTubers, it's Numistaka here and today we're going to talk about buying blind. Is buying sight unseen a good move? So you go onto the AppMex site and you look at all the listings and the one that says random year, let's say it says one tenth Libertad or Onza random year. Do you click on that one to save 10 bucks or do you pay a little bit more and get a known quantity in your coin. It could be uncirculated, it could be proof, it could be an onza that had a mintage of 10,000, it could be a proof with a mintage of 500. Will it be a 2011 or will it be a 2008? Will it be damaged? Will it be cleaned? What can you expect? And that is a really interesting question. What can you expect? So typically, if you, um, if you buy something as bullion, then quite often you get to specify maybe it's a sovereign, it's a five dollar eagle. Um, maybe if you pay a few more dollars, uh, you'll be able to say, well, OK, I want an Edward uh, or a George or a Victorian one or a young head or a young or a shield back. So this is an example. This was bought um, from a bullion dealer and it was bought sight unseen. Um, for every buyer, there's, there's also um, a seller, obviously. So whoever traded this in decided that they probably couldn't get anything more for it than just a little bit under spot. So they sold it for spot minus 5% maybe or something like that to a bullion dealer. Um, I bought it sight unseen uh, as bullion for spot plus four um, percent and and then it got delivered to me in the post and the question is you know did I get a good deal by buying sight, sight unseen or did I get a bad deal well it's um, a Victoria young head it's probably maybe XF 40 or 45 maybe XF 40 it's not in particularly wonderful condition but it looks like a pretty good now, genuine coin, it's an old coin, so it's dated 1882, and it's um, got a mint mark from Melbourne, so it's an Australian sovereign from 1882, um, and, you know, it's okay. I could, if I'd have paid maybe another 30 or $40, I could have got a first-class condition Victorian head, uh, old head, maybe, or I could certainly have got an Edward the Seventh or George the Fifth. But um, I decided to save a little bit of money, take a chance. And that's what buying on scene is about. It's about taking a chance. Let's take another one. And this is an example of a coin that, um, that I bought sight unseen. Um, so it's a St. Gowden's double eagle. It was bought as bullion. So this coin was bought without being able to see it as pure um, bullion. So spot plus three percent, yeah, three percent over spot, um, and I sent it to NGC for grading, and they graded it as an MS sixty three plus. So this coin probably added fifty percent to its bullion value through the process of grading. So in this case, buying sight unseen was a really good thing to do. But I just, the point I'm trying to make is that you need to know what you're doing and you need to know, um, you need to always have no expectations or low expectations. Quite often, if you buy something as bullion, you do have the option of reselling it and at least getting your money back by putting the effort into describing it and photographing it well, because people will pay a premium. Most people will pay a premium for something that at least has some kind of provenance, some description, some good pictures, they know what they're getting. So there's a premium between bullion, where you don't know what you're getting, a particular coin where you do know what you're getting, and if the coin isn't uh, cleaned or messed around with, or it's fairly rare, then having it graded can also be a good move. So now you've seen previously what happened with sight unseen purchases, let's take a look at today's unboxing of another coin from the same source, which is uh, also bought sight unseen. 
So let's take a look. This package arrived by special delivery today and it was bought um, at bullion plus 3%. And it was described as $10 Eagle, American Gold Eagle, Liberty Head. And Liberty Heads are lovely coins. I've got three or four of them and full Eagle $10 coins are usually lovely. So this one could either be a dog or it could be a star. No way of knowing because there were no pictures of this particular coin, so it could be anything. So let's take a look at the coin and see whether I've been lucky or unlucky. First indications are that it's too shiny. And shiny coins mean one thing, that it's been cleaned or polished. It is certainly bullion, it's got the same gold in as every other Liberty head, and it has a minimum value because of that gold. It is not heavily worn, it's a nice coin, but clearly you can see that um, there's really no mint luster, it's been polished, um, and it's polished both sides, it's a little bit too shiny, it's not the kind of coin you probably want to send for grading to NGC, but it is a coin that has a good value. Is it worthwhile at spot plus three percent? Yeah, I mean it has. You have to say that even buying blind at spot plus three percent, this is a worthwhile buy. Um, could it be sold at a huge premium? No. It could be sold at a premium because I bought it at a low price. So it could be sold at maybe spot plus 15, 20% um, on eBay for the right buyer with the right photography. But um, it's not one that is a star. It's not one that is a dog. It's kind of average for buying blind. So let me know what you think about buying blind and whether it's something that you would ever do. And, uh, and if you did do it and have done it, what kind of deals have you got by buying blind and has it been worthwhile?